His real name is Sebastian Obermeyer, but this 80-year-old Catholic missionary is better known in the Bolivian city of El Alto as Padre Torres, or Father Towers, a nickname he earned after building dozens of chapels in this traditionally poor area, perched 4,000 meters above sea level. Originally from Germany, Father Obermeyer has spent half of his life in El Alto, which will be Pope Francis's first stop during his official visit to Bolivia next July. Let's show Pope Francis the kind of church that we are. We want to be a brave, agile church. We want to be a church that keeps its promises, a church that is guided by faith and helps the poor. With just a few months to prepare for the pontiff's visit, Father Obermeyer has been boosting weddings of unmarried couples to show that his community is mindful of its Catholic duties. Last May, he also organized a collective baptism at his parish. I would need a thousand baptisms, not just 97. But anyway, that's what Pope Francis cares about. He doesn't want to see half a million people. What he wants is to see that your children are baptized, that you go to church every Sunday. That's the aim of the Pope's visit, to support and breathe new energy into religious life, the life of the local church. The largely Catholic population of El Alto eagerly awaits the Pope, even though his visit will be brief due to health concerns linked to the altitude. Here we are all happy that the Pope is arriving and to be able to know him in person. I'm really happy that the Pope is coming, even though I would have liked it if he had celebrated a Mass up here. However short the Pope's appearance, Catholic fervor will take over the streets of El Alto, if only for a few hours, on July the 8th.